Well, welcome to my channel, Mispronounced Adventures. My name's Alex, and welcome to a bike video. That is a folding commuter e-bike. Or a My Rider GB3. This is Fort William. And that is the start of the Great Glen Way which is going to be about a 74 mile ride to get to Inverness. So let's get going. First port of call, McDonald's. I'm joking, I need, I, it's 11 o'clock, I was meant to leave at nine. So, all being well, I've got these markers to follow and parts of the 78 cycle route. So hopefully navigation shouldn't be too difficult. I do have a map with me of the route as well. First things first though, I need to get out of Fort William, so I'm probably not going to do much recording because I need to use the map. And then, when we're actually on the easier routes and nav, I'll speak to the camera more. Well, there's Ben Nevis. UK's tallest mountain. Something I've taken clients up many times and um, the start of this uh, ride really. Well, I am pretty known at being incompetent with bikes and it turns out microphones. So I'm having to dub this section because what's just happened here is my DJI mic receiver has fallen out. I dropped the receiver. I'm gonna dub this little section because this was sort of the intro explaining what I'm doing. So on this channel, I usually like to have stupid adventures. The last two winters, I've taken my self-built camper van up to the Arctic and lived in some pretty extreme conditions. If you want to see those sort of things, subscribe and check out those that series. On top of that, I also muck around with electricity and power banks quite a lot. Yar! Of recent, I've got into e-bikes because last winter I tried to walk to the Russian border and it turned into to be a 50 kilometer round trip ordeal. And a bike would have made it easier. I've just seen how ridiculous this icicle looks. It's not, it's not. Earlier this year, I had a bit of a bike venture. And through my time in the Arctic, I ended up working with my rider whilst I was there. And now I'm doing a collaboration with them for the GB3. And power banks are gonna be pretty important for this video. As for the route, I see the Great Glenway as a successor to a trek I've previously done, the West Highland Way, which starts in Glasgow and ends in Fort William, whilst the Great Glenway starts in Fort William and ends in Inverness. The West Highland Way, which is about 100 miles, and I've walked that route a couple of times. Last time I did it was a few years ago. I did it in two days, 21 hours. A little bit of a personal speed attempt for me. So, and I've always wanted to do the Great Glenway. So I thought, what a better opportunity to take a inappropriate and unrecommended type of bike to do a long distance gravel walking and biking route. But try and do it in a day. So here we are. Oh, I'm terrible at cycling. Ugh. Morning. To tell the truth, I've never actually ridden a bike on the road before, and in classic British style, my riding on the road involves roadworks. Hey, yeah, will do. A 
Very quickly though, I leave the road and join the cycle path towards Loch Lenny. And towards where the Caledonian Canal meets it. Right, map. We started off here in Fort William, went out this little end point here, next to some of the canal, and hopefully from now on navigation should be relatively simple. Great Glen Way, Ochrany, Caledonian Canal, and we're going to follow this cycle path and see how we get on. And following the canal took me to the famous Neptune staircase, somewhere I've driven past many times but never actually been. And well, I'm trying to get to Inverness before midnight, so I didn't really stop to take many photos. I've not actually been to Neptune staircase before, or I've been to Fort William hundreds of times. It's quite pretty, really. Right, time to carry on. Well, I should probably tell you about the bike. So this is the My Rider GB3, which is their new version. I've played around with my rider bikes for a while now, borrowed a few of them, uh, borrowed the Van Love Festival's one and took it to the Arctic, which eventually involved me losing the drone in the tree. I found the little devil. Great view up here though. And having to climb the tree. It folds up beautifully and fits in my van and I like it. So getting tied to them and the offer of a GB3 became involved. I was quite excited and I'll show you why. However, what's exciting about the GB3 is they've got rid of the conventional chain and you've got a belt instead. And post being fixed gear, or if that's what you call it, for the original MyRider gear, they've added the planetary gearbox with three gears, which makes this far nicer going up some of the steeper hills. And for this trip, you may have noticed I've strapped all my EcoFlow power banks on the end because it's not about getting to Inverness on one battery, it's about seeing if I can get there in one go. Well, it's hard to see in direct sun, it's also got the upgraded panel, so it tells me the wattage, distance done so far, time, miles, and battery. And in a minute, we'll see we're quite empty and we've not done a lot of riding. I may have had it in maximum assist mode, so maximum draw. It's a 250 watt motor and the batteries are about 250 odd watt hours. So in an hour, you could flatten it. So swap the battery now and put the other one on charge. I bet those cyclists just love seeing me change a battery on an e-bike. I suspect to the walkers, the actual cyclists, and the guys on the motorbikes, I look like a right tip riding a 16-inch wheeled computer e-bike with a large electrical box strapped to the back of it. Well, it's not the most elegant solution, but let's go. Right. Well, lesson learned from the start, don't use the highest power mode. See, I've brought a second charger with me and the bike itself has a charge port. So I'm starting to wonder, could you ride the bike and charge it at the same time? My thinking being at the minute, I'm using it on gear two and power assist mode two, which isn't too much effort. And I'm going about nine mile per hour, but it's only using 80 watts. I'm pretty sure the my rider charger is around 80 watts. So it does mean if I could potentially be running the bike off the battery and charging it at the same time so I can ride it on a higher setting and go faster. Because at the minute doing this, I'm doing about yeah, nine mile per hour. If you're uh, in maximum assist mode, then it's easy to maintain about 14 miles per hour. That will get me to my destination a lot quicker. We're reaching the end of the nice cycle path. Right, we've made it just before mile 11. 
and we're at the bottom of Loch Lochie. So cross the bridge over there and head up there. Current battery is still full. We've got a long way to go. And this is charging away the other battery, which is at 90%. Off we go then. Here we go in this way. Right, well, this might be seen as cheating, uh, but a minute, I'm on the 78 cycle route and not the Great Glen Way. The Great Glen Way is running parallel on that side on a gravel track a few metres into the forest. But since the overall goal is to get to Inverness, I thought I would conserve the battery and take the smooth tarmac road. Seems reasonable, I think, for this section at least. That sign says Clunes, which means we are at mile 15 of 71, 74 even. If I'm honest, I don't think we're gonna make it. But we might as well try. Uh, onwards. To Lagan. This next stretch is the remotest bit of the ride, from Clunes at mile 15 to Lagan Locks at mile 22. It takes in the steep western hillside of Loch Lochie. Just as well as I received a message from my rider answering a question that can I ride and charge at the same time, because I've just started pushing the bike up some of the longer stretches of hill to conserve power. Right. I pushed it up this little last little hill because battery is a serious problem now. As a not with the bike, with, with me and what I'm trying to do today. So, message my rider and they said, well, so don't advertise that you should plug it in and charge it whilst you're riding because realistically you wouldn't because you plug it into a wall socket. It shouldn't do any damage. So, uh, let's do that. There's a charge port there. I should be able to charge it and ride it. So, it is only to um, an 84 watt charger which if i run this on setting two that's how much uh, i actually use right so i don't want to get this caught okay. Wait. hopefully that's not going to get caught on my leg so hopefully this should all work now right the hilarious setup is done we've got one battery charging charges in there the second battery is currently in is actually into the bike charging at the moment. That is all right there. Thing is, whilst these take, hello Bumblebee, these take two, three hours to charge. This on the other hand, I can charge in an hour. So if I stop for lunch when both of these are flat, I can charge both of those up at the same time and that, and then be ready to go again. And they're currently both doing and pulling 178 watt. That's quite a steep section. Hopefully uh, I don't run out of power on it. I'm getting low on this battery. I'm not sure these cycling shorts are very flattering on my bum. So this is a little diversion along the Great Glen Way. And there's some construction work because the lower path is closed, but this uphill bit is quite um, steep, but hopefully it means I've got a long, long downhill section afterwards. Afternoon. Hi, how are you? Hi, yourself? Yeah, good.
Have you? Yeah. <laughs> fair dues. Oh, fair play. Um, and then I saw you with, with, uh, in, in Roybridge just down the road. Fair so dues. I thought I'd just come out and uh, meet the man himself. <laughs> awesome. Cool. Uh, I'll ride up with you for a bit. If yeah, you don't sounds mind. like a plan. Um, if you just want to be by yourself, just come to kiss me. No, no, I'll be, I'll be all right. And I met one of my subscribers. So whilst I was doing the route, I had a Google Maps live link so people could follow me and see how I was getting on. And one of my subscribers used it to come find me in his free time. So we rode together for the last few miles to get towards Lagan. Is this you or are you further on? No, that's me there. Oh, very nice. Oh. Yeah. Uh, just met Ian, who's a subscriber of the channel, and gave me a beer, had a chat, hang up the bikes a bit, and uh, now I'm going to carry on. I hope you make it. <laughs> hope I make it. So do I. So do I. Right. Thank you. See ya. Made it to Lagan, 24 miles behind this Fort William, and more diversions. Really not helpful. I'm all about distance for this trip, and I need to conserve power. And I've got to do a slightly a longer route for the diversion. Some parts of the Great Glen Way are pedestrian and cycle routes, other bits are just pedestrian. This bit, I don't know, but since it was a bit steep uphill on a corner, I thought I'd jump on the empty half. It's not ideal. But this diversion is quite a steep uphill, which is draining uh, the last of this power. So I might swap out to the next battery and hopefully I can find a pub in Fort Augustus to charge the power bank. Yeah, this is down to, well, I've got a big draw at the minute, but 30 volts, what, it's a 36 volt battery. 29.9 volts. I don't quite know when this is. There we go. <laughs> That's a cut out there. Right, let's swap to the other battery, I guess. Right. Forgot to turn the inverter back on. Uh, because I am trying to get to Inverness before midnight, I've elected not to do tripod scenic shots and film more off the handlebars of the bike when I can, just to save a bit of time. Right, battery is full, the other battery. So that's enough to get to Fort Augustus. Big power bank's down to 40%. See how we go. Let's see, let's see how we do. Oh yeah, that's a new battery, isn't it? <laughs> so we're getting there. I think I will have to make a serious consideration on route after Fort Augustus. Yeah. <sighs> Right, well, let's get music back on and pedaling. Well, that's not a bad view, is it? Oh, I'm gonna get there. 
I'm gonna get mad. Right, well, this is in for Gary. That's the Gary. Good paddling on the Gary, mind. Uh, I once sunk a Canadian canoe with a friend on one on it. <laughs> right, well, if that's the case, in with Gary means we're on mile uh, 27, which means Fort Augustus is the mile 33. Onwards. Probably easier for me to push the bike up this section than it is to ride up it. So this bit's a bit steep, so I'm walking. But yeah, the throttle adds as a, as a walk mode, which is quite nice. Hopefully, get up here and then I can roll back downhill. Honestly, you thought this was a good idea? <laughs> me. I like it. It's an adventure, which definitely has no given end. No guarantee I'll make it. Right, camera off and music on. Downhill section! Diversions. Looks like I've got some nice flat path for until Fort Augustus, hopefully. So um, let's crack on. Right, I think I'm getting towards the halfway mark or the halfway mark, and it's five o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> it's going to be a long night. I think I will have to make a decision about route later on. Getting there though. But I am in need of finding a pub. I can charge this in an hour and I think if I can charge this in an hour and I've got enough power to finish this off. I just need to find a pub, have a pint, some food and get this on charge. Or at least those are my thoughts. <sighs> Hopefully Fort Augustus will have something. And since I didn't record anything between here and Fort Augustus, let's instantly travel there by Google Earth. I think this is where I'm going to change my plan. Opposed to going the mountain-ish route of the Great Glen Way, I might go over to the National Cycle Route 58 and do that along the flat. I don't think that's flat, but I think that's flat. Because I've got 33 miles to go. And I can do that if I can get the battery charged here, but I don't think I can do it in the time frame today on this side. Well, we're getting some food and the battery's on charge. Stop at the moorings done, battery charged. 
time to carry on and it's 25 minutes past seven. I'm going to finish the dark. And well, I'm going to end the episode here. And I don't really have a proper outro because I didn't realise the video was going to take so long. So there will be a part two. And if you've enjoyed this episode far, please do consider subscribing and checking out some of the other silly things I've done on the channel. And do tell me your thoughts on taking this type of e-bike along the Great Glen Way. If you want to learn more about my ride and the GB3, check out my link in the description. But until then, I'll see you next time. Cheers. Bye.